Hi, this is Jack Westman for ESCANews.com, still here in Yun Sherping Sweden for DreamHack Winter 2014. Joining me this time is NBK from Team LDLC, who've just beaten uh, Team Navi in the second semi final to advance to the grand final versus NIP. Uh, first of all, Nathan, how uh, do you feel? What are your initial thoughts after that game? Well, from being eliminated yesterday to making a <laughs> grand final of, uh, of a major here at Jamaica Winter, it, it's just an extremely good feeling. I think we played some good counter strike against Navi and we're really, really happy about how it turned out and uh, yeah, just waiting for the game now. Well, talking about the fact that you were eliminated yesterday, the, the whole uh, boosting, yes. boost gate, yes. boost scandal, that whole thing. Um, now that you've slept on it, obviously you were very angry yesterday uh, with the whole thing. You viewed Fnatic's boost as an exploit. How do you feel now that you've had a chance to sleep on it? Um, I think the decision made from Jumak is still wrong uh, yeah. because uh, there has been many misunderstandings and uh, no real no real thought, I guess, but put behind the thing. And like, I just feel it wasn't fair. Mm. But um, yeah, I'm still standing on my points and uh, I still... I still think everything that I said, except for the Fnatic part, uh, they have uh, obviously a lot of respect for the game and for sportsmanship. And yeah, I already apologized on Twitter uh, regarding all the Fnatic guys, and I'm gonna do it once again because uh, we probably crossed a, a small line and went a bit, a bit, probably a bit too far, and uh, and it shouldn't have went that way. So uh, uh, immediately after it happened, you obviously must have thought quite badly of Fnatic, but now you're all this forgiven basically yes yes everything is fine now yeah okay um, just one more question on the boost before we move on uh, actually two more <laughs> um, so obviously you had no idea where you were getting hit from right the yes. guy was top of the sky yeah, yeah, exactly at what point did you realize and what was the atmosphere in team speak up until that point you were like where the <laughs> hell is this guy i mean once we died at almost every single spot of the, on the, of yeah. the game just because of that boost we just felt completely powerless and like we had no solution at all to to counter that and uh it was very, very painful being on TeamSpeak at that time. And, uh, and even after the game, when we lost, we were just shocked. Yeah. That was the main thing. And you said you're still not happy with DreamHack's decision. Um, do you feel like it, it almost felt as though DreamHack were reluctant to take the win off Fnatic, right? They were, they were, do, well, do you feel like being a Swedish event and a Swedish team, they gave them preferential treatment? Well, I mean, I don't know if we can go that far, but uh, obviously the rules haven't been respected because um, it's really clear in the rules that the score is detected at the end of the game every single time you use the bug and you get a warning and um, and yeah it just didn't happen like it, it's my only thing it, like if it was written in the rules no penalty etc yeah. and okay be it you know like that's the ruling but um, I feel that it wasn't really fair and, uh, and yeah that's, that's the only thing I have to say and okay so we'll stop talking about the boosting now kind of uh, so you just played uh, Navi in the semi-final obviously yes. because of the boosting thing you stayed up till quite late yeah, in the morning 4am 4, 4 something like 4 that 4am right um, so and instead of knowing who you were going to play tomorrow you didn't even know if you were going to play today at all right yes um, so do you feel unprepared going into this match you didn't know if you'd be playing you're tired um, kind of stuff? against Navi yes obviously we didn't feel prepared because it really came at the last minute that we were going to play uh, against, Fanny, uh, against Navi sorry straight yeah so um, it was a very tough game, but we, like, thanks to all the support we got on the internet, we managed to uh, really focus on the game and, uh, and put everything on the side. Now coming against NIP is going to be another game because we know them extremely well, they know us well as well. And, uh, you know, we, we just have to play our A game because we know we can counter them. And uh, we just have to, to eat, get focused, grab like five minutes of rest, and, uh, and we're in for the grand final. Yeah, well, I won't keep you for too much longer. Uh, uh, you, you're very proud of the fact that you're a, go a great Inferno team. Happy in uh, uh, ESWC told me you're probably the best Inferno team in the world. I don't doubt you'll try and get it against Snip as well. Um, but Fnatic did beat you on Inferno. Do you still see yourselves as the best in the world on that map? Is that your real um, strength? Yeah, I mean, Fnatic beat us once, and I think it's the only team that did so on land. Yeah. Uh, because we beat them at Fragment Masters on, on, on it. And uh, yeah, I still feel that Inferno is one of, the be one of our best map. And uh, and although NIP have a brand new game and they play uh, um, various pro on it and have a very strong city side, I'm still confident coming into Inferno against NIP and uh, just looking forward to it. All right, so the very last question. Uh, you <laughs> last question, last question. Yeah, last um, question. So you versus Snip again in the final of the tournament. It's almost like jumping back two years, right? Yes. Um, 
However, Nip were the favourites all the time back then, and it feels like you're the favourites this time. Do you feel like the favourites? Is this going to be a pretty straightforward game for you guys? <laughs> well, yes, we're going to easily wipe them 2-0. <laughs> well, that's the no. spirit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's going to be it's going to be a very good game because uh, it feels like NFP are back to their top level. Uh, Forrest has been playing extremely well, uh, and the whole team behind him. Yeah, the show is on. It's going to be a really good game, and. Uh, I feel confident coming into the game and uh, NIP, they're playing good as well, so yeah, just waiting for it to start. Alright, Nathan, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Do you have time for shout outs? Sure, uh, always time for shout outs. <laughs> uh, well, first of all, thanks for everyone who's supporting us, who supported us yesterday. Uh, the ones who's going to support us against NIP, I know you're going to be some, not all of you, but some, you know, and I've got my heart for you. And uh, obviously, I'm going to thank my sponsors, LDLC, Cooter Master. Body sticks and AOC, and yeah, thank you for the interview. Always a pleasure. Thank you very much again, Nathan. Nathan, and uh, everyone at ESCA.net and ESCANews.com. Stay tuned for full coverage here in Jönköping, Sweden. <laughs>